Coach, you guys are undefeated this season, and obviously there's a little something special with that undefeated mark, but how would you characterize what you've seen out of your team throughout this 2019 season leading up to the championship on Saturday morning? This team, you know, they're a special bunch of boys, and uh, I've known that for a lot of years. I've coached them uh, off and on a little bit for the last six to seven years, and, uh, you know, they're they're just a special bunch of, of players and athletes, and They've really stepped up to the challenge this year. You know, after the last couple of years getting to the semifinals, we knew we wanted to get deeper, you know, into the playoffs this year, and they've just committed 100 percent to do to do that. And uh, you know, going into the season, we did have goals of getting to Laramie, and and, and we wasn't you know shy about it. You know, they just that's what they committed to, and they had a great summer. A workout program, uh, great summer camp, and coming into the season, you know, I, I was said I was a nervous excitement because you think you're good, but you don't know for sure. And every week we've challenged the boys just to play their, you know, just do what we do and play our brand of football. And uh, never could imagine the type of season that they've put together. But uh, you know, Coach Sam and myself, you know, we couldn't be more proud of what this team has done and and have accomplished to this point. Speaking of accomplishments, you guys tied a state record last week in the semifinals. You haven't allowed a point all season, nine consecutive games. How in the world do you accomplish something like that from your perspective as the head coach in six-man football? Well, it's just the preparation that goes into it, the hard work that they've put into it. You know, like I said, from you know June, going to team camp and uh, coming together, you know, just as a team. Uh, this team symbolizes to me what, I believe in as a coach and uh, I've said this numerous times this year and and then as each week goes along and we continue that streak you know my uh, my philosophy is just play 100 percent on every down and and this team does that and you know you just let the score take care of itself and uh you know coach Sam puts a good game plan together every week and and offensively we do everything we need to get done to get the lead and get the running clock and and then the defense just takes over and just controls the game and it's just it's on the boys i mean coach sam and i do our job but it's on the boys because they're the ones that give us the effort on every down and, and just that you know, no stop attitude and you know it, it's it's been a fun ride did we plan on you know shutouts not at not at all i mean that wasn't any, even on the in the vision of it but um uh, it's kind of continued that way, and now it's a motivation deal. And but we know we're going up against a hell of a team this weekend with Hannah and, and what they bring. We have a lot of history with them, so understand what's in front of us. Speaking of that, what are your impressions of the Miners? Uh, what what can you tell me a little bit about what you know about them? Well, we you know we know actually quite a bit about them. We had a lot of a great junior high games with them in football and basketball, both when we was kind of in the same conference in junior high. You know, going back four or five six years ago and so there's that friendly rivalry between the, you know the, the kids and, and we know each other so good we kind of kind of lost that in high school because we're in different conferences but both programs know the other programs very well and and uh the McGraw boys I mean they definitely stand out and everybody knows what they are and, and what they do and what they bring and it, they, they are just a tough tough you know, pair to handle. I mean, they, they're just so explosive and big and strong. And I know their dad very well. And we've talked off and on over the years and, and, you know, for, for the fans and, and, you know, it's a dream matchup because we kind of expected this four years ago, honestly, when Mike and I would talk about things, you know, that uh, these two teams are kind of destined to meet in a state championship game. And it's turned out that way. And um, just both teams have had great seasons and, so we, you know, we understand Hannah brings a lot of explosive offense uh, to the field, and uh, trying to control the trends is, is is a handful, and nobody's been able to do it all year, and, and so it's it's going to be a heck of a challenge for you know our team to to step up on that. Obviously, you have uh, met a lot of challenges through the season. And I don't want you to give away any sort of game plan or anything, but what would be some of your kind of baseline keys to being successful Saturday against HEM? Well, I mean, it always starts to me. I don't care what level of football you're at, you know, but the line of scrimmage, I mean, you got to control the line of scrimmage. It's a little bit different with Hannah because they, 
they they go tight and a power formation once in a while, but their bread and butter is a spread offense, you know, running Connor and Shane uh, in open spaces. And so, you know, everybody knows what they do, and and uh, but you just gotta you gotta stop it. And that's what the dilemma is to any team that goes against them. You pretty much know on film what their offense is, and but to to, to see it. And then to play against it is a whole different deal, and and that speed that they present is, you know, that's the challenge. And offensive, offensively, we just got to do what we've done, and uh, you know, play play our team ball, and you know, just stay as a team and not individuals. We've done that very well all year, and and hopefully we can continue for one more game. Sounds like tackling is going to be a big key, and to have a shutout streak, you must have some great tacklers on your defense, Coach. You know, we do, and, and we run as a team as well as I've ever seen a team coach, and we had some good teams back in the early days of our football program. We've been in existence for 11 years again after being non-existent for 50 years, and we had some, you know, two championship teams and another great team, and but the overall team and just the the overall hustle that this team brings is is you know unprecedented, and, and that's and I think that shows in, in the, the you know the shutouts and that you know like I said we give them the game plan, Coach Sam and I, and, and they just they just run it, and uh, so that's on them. You know that the effort that they bring and the, just the type of kids we have is it's just a amazing time to be able to coach them, and, and it's an honor for me to coach them growing up in Snake River and being able to coach football. Um, never got to play it because we didn't have it back in my days. But uh, you know, it's a it's just a dream bunch of kids to coach and and uh, the families, the parents. It, I mean, it, it's the whole system and the whole s- school and the whole community that supports this team. So you know, it's fun and it's going to be a fun championship game. And and um, either way, Cardman County's a winner because one of us is going to win and represent the county very well. Coach Cobb, with that, I will let you go. I greatly appreciate your time today. Best of luck on Saturday at 10 a.m. against HEM. Appreciate it. Thank you.